Hello, welcome back to Compana Lab. Let's have a run through of the branches, the lateral branches of the abdominal aorta. So lateral meaning going towards the side and therefore they would have a left and right counterpart. And this is in contrast to the median visceral branches of the abdominal aorta, which will have a separate video for the median visceral branches are those branches of the uh, aorta going to the digestive tract which do not have a left and right counterpart they're median branches so this is the thoracic aorta and then once it penetrates the diaphragm and goes inside the abdominal cavity it becomes the abdominal aorta and one of the first branches of the abdominal aorta are, of course, the, the phrenic arteries and the hepatic arteries going to the liver, liver and diaphragm. And then another lateral branch of the abdominal aorta is this left renal artery. And there's also going to be a, a left adrenal lumbar artery passing over the adrenal gland and then another branch going to the paired gonads in this case this is the female this is the left ovarian artery yeah it's very very delicate and thin almost like a fatty mesentery that's a, but that's, that's the left ovarian artery. And then there's also going to be dorsally directed lumbar arteries. Lumbar arteries. There. Lumbar arteries. And then iliolumbar artery left side right side is here left iliolumbar I mean right iliolumbar artery just beside the vein counterpart and then you'll see that at this point the abdominal aorta will split successively a first split will give rise to the external iliac artery. So there's no common iliac artery. That's only for the post cava. So immediately external nakagad, external iliac artery. And then shortly, it will split again to give rise to the internal iliac artery. Leaving an unpaired caudal artery dorsal directed down there that one that's the caudal artery so it's pretty symmetric mirror image not not like the tributaries of the post cava major mepaka asymmetric so external internal iliac and then caudal caudal artery let's follow the external iliac so just like the vein counterpart external iliac goes out of the abdominal cavity through the inguinal canal and then once on the ventral surface of the thigh it becomes the femoral artery there's also a deep deep femoral deep femoral artery And then the femoral artery goes all the way down to the shank region as the saphenous artery together with the vein counterpart. Now let's follow the internal ilia. So this is the left internal iliac artery. And you see that it has a long branch. 
going to the bladder. That's the umbilical artery. Umbilical artery. And then the internal ilia also gives rise to a middle, middle hemorrhoidal artery, supplying blood to the rectum. So first branch niya, umbilical artery, then it continues down there and gives rise to the middle hemorrhoidal artery going to the rectum. All right. And those would be the lateral branches of the abdominal aorta. Coming next would be the median visceral branches going to the digestive tract.